on, on a day like today, um, it is just incredibly um, fulfilling to see, um, you know, such outstanding student athletes sitting at the table over here. And I truthfully say, student athletes, each one of these um, kids sitting in front of us is a, an excellent student as well as being an excellent athlete. And um, we all hope that that continues over the next four years. Um, so anyhow, you know, our attention today is going to be focused on them. But at the same time, we want to make sure that we say um, thank you to those people who have been um, instrumental in getting them to this point. Um, I've met a lot of you. It feels very comfortable to um, stand here and see so many familiar faces. Uh, but um, if we haven't met, my name is Chuck Froning, and I'm one of the three assistant principals here at Northern. And um, part of my job is um, being involved with athletics. I'm not so sure I actually want to take on the um, official role of athletic director, but I am involved with athletics. Um, thank you so much for being here. Um, it truly is, um, you know, I, I use this terminology over and over again, it takes a village to raise a child, and even though these guys don't appear to be children so much anymore, more young adults, um, and it's taken a village to raise them up, and that means um, parents, and that means grandparents that um, are here. Uh, that means friends. Um, friends have been a, uh, are always an incredible uh, support system to them. That means coaches that are here today. The coaches on our staff and really in any, um, on any athletic team, um, as a coach of about 20 years uh, myself, uh, you know, there is a lot of um, love and time and compassion and energy spent um, on our athletes. And, um, you know, so this is somewhat of a dedication to their efforts as well. And um, these guys' success is kind of a testament to um, everything that our coaches have given to them. So anyhow, just a couple more things, and then we'll move on. You know, um, four percent, around four percent of all high school athletes uh, continue to participate in college. Four percent. So it is a very um, you know, select group of kids who get to go on and do what these six guys are doing. Um, I don't know, is uh, Courtney Sullivan here? Yes, Courtney's here. Dan Dippendurfer is here. Um, these two are others that are planning on, on going um, on into college to participate in athletics, and we celebrated their commitments earlier this year, so, um, you know, that would be a total of eight. But it's an incredibly uh, great opportunity. I hope, and I, as I speak to you as a group, you know, um, you all have heard me talk about the, the privilege um, to participate in athletics. Um, it really is. Um, and I hope that as you go on, you continue to see it as a privilege. Um, the other part of it is, is that out of those 4% that go on to college, about 1% of that 4% go on to participate professionally. So that's another important thing to keep in mind when you're thinking about the next four or five years in your, in your um, college careers. Um, you are going away to be students and you are hopefully going to enjoy four years of athletics that will enrich your edu educational experience. So it will be important um, to keep that in the right focus as well as they all go away. So anyhow, um, congratulations um, to all of you because um, the reason that you're here is because you have been, if not a huge part, at least a little part in these guys' um, development as um, athletes and as human beings. So I think uh, maybe we give a round of applause for that. Uh, we have three coaches um, that could not make it, mainly because of family commitments, picking up kids at the end of the day. And so uh, I asked them to, uh, you know, give to me some uh, something that uh, they would like to say about their athletes. Um, so um, our first one is um, our first athlete to celebrate is um, Aaron Cretion. And um, round of applause for him. Uh, 
Um, obviously, um, Aaron's going to be going to uh, Bentley University in, um, as your uh, packets say, in Waltham, uh, Massachusetts. Um, he'll be playing football there, and um, Coach Moore um, has this to say. Aaron was a defensive leader for us, a quarterback of the defense. He always had a way to find the ball. He worked hard during the season and the offseason as well. He's a very good student athlete that will thrive at the next level. And, um, you know, from my seat as um, an assistant principal and athletic director at Northern High School, Aaron um, is um, an incredible part um, and has been an incredible part of our school uh, as, as a leader, um, as an athlete. Uh, his presence is, is felt all around. So anyhow, Aaron, congratulations. Uh, the accomplishment is, um, is awesome. Nice job. Okay, and then our next two are Ashley Donahue um, and Alice. Let's go with um, Ash, Ashley Donahue and Alice in golf, and I'll in, in, invite uh, Tim Moore to come in and speak about it. I'm the head girls cross country coach and one of the assistant coaches for uh, girls track. Coach McBride uh, could not be here today, uh, so he asked me to step in. So first uh, with Ashley. Um, Ashley was a key member of the Walden Northern cross country team during her senior season, and it's no surprise that in that season was the most successful season in the history of our school. Uh, she competed as one of the seven varsity runners in every single meet, missing none, finishing 37th out of 260 runners in the county and 22nd in the KLAA league. More importantly, her dedication to the sport and welcoming personality made her very popular among her teammates. She's attending OCC to complete her prerequisite classes in order to transfer to a four-year university in pursuit of a medical career. Although running only for one year, she was a key contributor to our team's success, an outstanding teammate who Coach Foley, Coach Wheeler, and I were honored to coach, and she's going to be a fantastic collegiate athlete. So. Allie Goff, who will be attending Georgia State. Allie, simply put, is one of the most talented track athletes in the history of Wald Lake Northern track and field. As a freshman, she was All-State in the 100-meter hurdles, and then returned from injury her sophomore year to earn All-State honors in two events as a junior, the long jump and the 100-meter hurdles again. Allie's drive and dedication to improve daily is evident constantly, and this is what makes her great. Additionally, she is always encouraging all teammates and pushes them to improve as well each and every day. She's currently ranked in the top 10 nationally in the 100 meter hurdles, and we're looking forward to her having a great outdoor track season. It's been an honor for me, as well as Coach McBride, as well as Coach Amy McNeil, Coach Logan, and Coach Johnson, to coach her during her high school career in Georgia State is very lucky to have her. Zach Hopple is next round of applause. As you can see, Zach will be attending Albion College. Um, I must admit, Zach, I had to figure out that they were the Bridges. Yeah. Um, but what a, a unique mascot. Um, um, just a couple things that um, Coach Stavanovich had to say about Zach, and then a couple things that I'd like to say about Zach as well. Um, Coach says, uh, Zach has been a big part of the Northern Soccer Program and its success over the past two years. He has contributed a great deal to the success of our program here at Northern. We wish him nothing but the best in his future endeavors. Um, you know, I have said this, and you know, sometimes I can uh, get in trouble, I guess, for saying this, especially with other coaches in our audience today, and so maybe it becomes a challenge. But uh, it's arguable that, uh, that the soccer program is, has been our most successful program here over um, 11 or 12 years in terms of the district championships and things like that they've won and the um, records that they've uh, compiled. And um, so as a goalkeeper yeah, for what that program says a lot about Zach and his dedication. Um, I've gotten to know Zach a little bit better here in the last couple of years. And just like um, Aaron and Ashley and Allie, um, a, a, an important part of the school. Um, every once in a while, um, you know, um, someone isn't, a kid isn't here for the day for a couple days or um, even for a week because of sickness or whatever. 
And I would say probably everybody at this table, um, you know, we, we miss them. We would know that they weren't in school during those days. And that's, uh, I think that's a, that's a compliment to each one of these guys. So, um, Zach, congratulations and good luck. Next is Kendall Yonke. Kendall Yonke is a player that arrived here at Northern with a big reputation for being a very strong player and one that would have an impact on the varsity girls soccer team right away as a freshman. She has lived up to that reputation from day one. As a freshman, she was put, she was made the focal point in our team, right in the center of the midfield where everything offensively went through her. She scored five goals and had two assists in her freshman season and was set up for an even bigger sophomore year. Again, she was the center of our team and contributed six goals and five assists and was named to the all-district and all-conference teams. Unfortunately for us, Kendall played for a club in her junior year but attended all of our practices and games as an assistant coach. And we are thrilled that she is returning to our team to her senior year. She's a great leader and, in, and, and individual on and off the field. She will be attending Western Michigan University on a soccer scholarship in the fall. Uh, also from Mr. Drummond, also congratulations to Ashley Donahue. She has been a fantastic part of the Northern Girls Soccer Program for three years and has represented Northern very well on and off the field. So, congratulations to both. Um, well, first, congratulations to Mr. and Mrs. Williams who have done a fine job raising this young man as well as your other son there, Corey. Um, both. <laughs> um, and, you know, and they're both um, quality human beings, and that means way more to me as a coach than uh, what they can do on the ball field. Uh, but Brennan can do a lot on the ball field. Um, he is, you know, there, there's an old saying, you know, you, the art of hitting. And of all our players on the team, Brendan gets, Brennan gets that. He gets it. He practices it. He understands what it means to to really be an artist up there. And he is the best two-strike hitter I have seen at Northern. And if you know hitting, if you know baseball, that's when it's really difficult. And he has not only great technique, great fundamentals, he's intelligent, he, he, he's out thinking that pitcher, and he's real, really adaptive. And, and it's just, it's rare. It is rare when you can see someone who can still put a good swing on the ball with two strikes. He was in the four hole last year, batted over 450, I think, right? You know, so uh, it, it, you probably know. Uh, we don't we don't do a lot of stats, but he, yeah, I mean, it, it's extremely hard. The stats aren't fudged; they're legit. And it's not like a four hitter of his renown is going to get fastballs grooved right down the heart of the plate. I mean, they're they're going to stay away from him, and he still had some huge, huge hits. He's a left-handed hitter. His power to all fields. I mean, it's just, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing to see he plays the game the right way. He's a good teammate. He's a captain. He's been on varsity for three years. He's helped us win. He's an integral part of helping us win our first district championship, and we're going back at it this year. Uh, you know, Brendan Williams is going to attend Eastern Michigan University. That is no small feat. That is, he's playing against some serious D1 competition. We'll be playing against them. And, and he's up for it. He's up for that challenge. Probably the, the best compliment I can give him, and I'm sure his teammates get sick of hearing it, but whenever we're demonstrating in our instructional sessions and we're going through various parts of the swing, just watch Brent. Uh, we'll do, well, just watch Brent. Well, just watch Brent. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're right into here. Just watch Brent. So they, they may be getting tired of hearing that, but I'm not tired of saying it because he is truly an outstanding hitter and a fine man. Good luck. If nothing else, I'll speak for them. Um, as a uh, dad of two daughters, um, who are now 19 and 21, and we're both um, athletes, um, in high school, I know the investment that you have, uh, the investment of everything, money, time, uh, you know, uh, late nights, early mornings, all those things. So. Um, I'm hoping that in your all minds right now, the six of you, that you um, are thinking about that. You will probably think a lot more about that in the next two or three years once you go away. I've also learned that about my daughters. Uh, but anyhow, uh, parents, grandparents, friends, um, 
on behalf of our six athletes up here, um, thank you for all your support and the foundation that you gave them over the years. So I'll about a round of applause for everybody. And